Online. Just um, search for Nigeria Info 99.3 on Facebook and on YouTube, and you'll be right here with me um, on the show. And please uh, do feel free to drop your comment and your thoughts on the headlines that we've got for you today. Uh, feel free to do that. Let's start with the Vanguard newspaper. So, um, notes down the headlines. I'll be coming to take your thought any moment uh, during the course of the program. So, here we go now. Here we go. Scars burnt to ashes. Many shops raised as two fuel tankers collide in Niger. Scars burnt to ashes. Many shops raised as two fuel tankers collide in Niger. Page 6 of the Vanguard newspaper. Page 5 of the Vanguard this morning. Convention aftermath. PDP governors dig in, set to decide presidential candidates. Uh, it's also right here in the uh, Vanguard, page 5 of the paper. It has plenty of writers, though. How many, how they uh, outmaneuvered Atiku, Saraki Lamido, Arapaja, Bito Inola, Shiroma, loses again. APC incapable of holding convention. Are you? PDP will come out strong, united to rescue Nigeria, Okowa speaking. PDP in good hands, says so in Lola, politicking over. It's time to rescue Nigeria, Rapaja. These are all the writers to the main story. Page 5 of the Vanguard newspaper um, this morning. A papa gridlock. Miscreants, dare Sawolu collect tolls. Page 10 of um, the Vanguard newspaper. A papa gridlock. Miscreants, dare Sawolu collect tolls. Page 10. Um, of the Vanguard newspaper. Let's take a look at that story. So the traffic situation along the mile two end of the Apapa Oshodi Expressway worsened yesterday as hoodlums and touts working for about uh, the for both the National Union of Road Transport Workers (NURTW) and uh, Road Transport Employees or Employers Association of Nigeria (RTEAN) shunned Governor Sawolu. Uh, Sanwulu's order uh, on suspension of ticket sale to truckers. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate. Apapaki log miscreant de Sanwulu collects tolls. Rider holds NURTW, RTA and responsible for gridlock. Last month, police stay aloof for fear of attack. Hmm. Let's move on to the Guardian newspaper. The Guardian has this story here on its front page that extends to page 2. 150 days after ban, Nigeria awaits truce between FG, Twitter. 150 days after ban, Nigerians await truce between FG, Twitter. Uh, the riders' suspension may be lifted this week. Only one out of ten demands yet to be met. Twitter admits progress in discussions awaits FG decision. Twitter global users increase. Revenue jumps by 37% to $1.28 billion. SMEs, government, economy bleed as losses hit $370 billion. Experts appeal to government to consider uh, usefulness of platform. These are the writers to the story that says 150 days after ban, Nigerians await truce between FG Twitter. The Guardian newspaper. It extends to page two of that paper. Mm. 0700 993 993 993 uh, and 01 465 If you're watching on Facebook and on YouTube, you can drop your comment and I will take them as we go along. I'm going to flip you to page seven of the paper right now. Page seven has this story here that reads INEC not ready for credible poll in Anambra or Hanese alleges. INEC not ready for credible poll in Anambra Ohaneze alleges. Mm. Page 4 of The Guardian. Wiki gives FG 48 hours to expose invaders of Justice Odili's house. Uh, Wiki gives FG 48 hours to expose invaders of Justice Odili's house. Page 4, The Guardian newspaper. And let's take the Daily Independent before we go to the telephone. Um, Daily Penner has a story on the front page that extends to page 2. Food prices hit rooftop despite declining headline inflation. 
food prices hit rooftop despite declining headline inflation. Riders, firms worry over erosion of profit margins, drop in sales, decline in turnover, weak manufacturing capacity utilization. These are the riders to the story right there. Let's get to the telephone now. 0700 993 993 993 and 01 465 7195. Good morning Hello? to you. Yes, please. Hello, good morning, Shelly. Good morning. Um, since one has been calling you, thank God they have picked my call now. Good to have you. Here. Um, I'm Uche from Olodia, Papa. Welcome, Uche. Welcome. What's your story? Yeah. My comments are about the, well, uh, this, uh, the old list, uh, this, uh, what, they, uh, what happened in last week, Friday. You have my red dog, the story. My brother, this is our country, this is our Nigeria. I don't know why we are deceiving. They all are they are deceiving as they are said, not us, because this kind of thing. How can you tell me that they don't know the particular people that go and do this, that? Although I thank God that our able this uh, governor, Mr. Project, we can have given them for eight hours to provide the people that do that. It's very a shame to a big country like Nigeria hearing such a thing. All of them that they are denying. Yes, it's not them. They said, no, who are those? It's a human being. So this is like making the show that you know, what, is, this, what is going in this country. May God help us. Mm. That's my comment. Thank you. Thank you, Chief, for calling. 737 Nigeria Info. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hello. Yes, good morning to you. Uh, Sherry, good morning. Good morning to you. Um, me, don't think I'm saying about Nigeria. I was just like, on that Saturday, I don't know what you know about Bo. You that you only know 60 seconds. I know that you will be telling Femi, Femi, 60 seconds. Were you there? Were go. you there? Were you there? Were you there? Sir? Were you there? No, I was not there. You but see, had you push, see, sir. you see, you were not there. You should come and see. You should have seen my, my, my style I know you coaching. are saying 60 seconds. 60 seconds. It's not true. Bye-bye. It's not true. Bye-bye to you too. Nigeria, good morning, good morning to you. Your radio should be off, please. Do try and call me back, okay? Good morning to you. Hello, Jerry. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, sorry. This um, uh, week is giving federal government um, 48 hours of information. So if they don't um, abide, then what will we do now? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. I don't know. It's only the governor that knows what, uh, the, why he gave the ultimatum. Good morning to you. Good morning, all. Good morning. Oh, now you did. I do. I do. I, I, Boris. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're yeah, president. You don't know. My name is Peter, anyway. Welcome, Peter. Okay. I've not been around for a very long time. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, I don't come. Hmm. I don't hear bad, bad news. Hmm. Um, I beg. Help me tell Malami and Co. and President, please let us remain in peace until he leaves. That woman, they went there to harass her, Mrs. Justice uh, Peter, um, Mary Odile. Mm. It is unfair. Mm. You know, they have started, I'm from Niger Delta. We know be east, though, southeast, though. Good morning. Good morning to you, my friend. Thank you. Um, for your I'm going to go to where we're streaming live on Facebook. Uh, let me take some thoughts uh, on our live stream on Facebook. Uh, let's see who is here. Uh, Adewale Kayode on Facebook says, Wike um, gives federal government 48 hours to explain what happened at um, Justice Odili's residence since the death of former AGF Bolaige. Has anyone explained what happened? Okay. Michael Uba is also here and he's wishing everybody a happy new month. Uh, let's see... Mm, who is here now? Uh, okay, everybody is just um, excited. Yeah, excited. Good morning to you. Sorry. Good morning. How was the weekend? Very well. Very, very you well. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let's excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Es excuse me, excuse me. Let's talk about Sorry. it later. Mm. It's to me. Um, I want to talk on two issues. The food crisis. Mm. About the food crisis. It's in rule. And also, Yosha Hayu and uh, Akwaja said that they're going to rescue Nigeria. Mm. Who will believe them? Believe the politician over my dead body. I can never believe any politician again. Mm. Because when they want to come to, 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 to 
canvas, they know the problem when they are campaigning. Mm. But after giving them the power, they don't know the problem anymore. All they know is how to support the money of this country. Now, I think Nigeria not asked for too much. Give, let, us, let us give up food mm. and let us have light and good roads. Mm. They're not asking for more. Okay. But they want they do the people want to do this because this is what they go used to campaign. Mm. And we Nigeria come on every day. Some said bring them, some say, Oh, we can is we cannot part of the problem. The God opened all Nigerian hearts and hearts to know these positions are not our friends. Mm. We should think not how to do with them through our votes, through our thumbs, and stand by our votes. So we can vote on Kato. Me vote Kanto. Thank you. I believe it. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Mr. for calling. Nigeria for the morning. Good morning, Mr. Sherry. Good morning. Uh, I want to react to the uh, mayor of the Hickam. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. If that woman would have been keen, they would say they don't know the people that went to court to seek an approval to go to that woman's house. Hmm. Uh, I, I want to personally tell you that, uh, according to what uh, Mr. Uchi always said, it is a shame to Buare. It's a, buare. It is a shame to Buare. Thank you. Thank you, too, for Thank calling you for me. Calling. Let me go to Daily Trust newspaper and take some few um, headlines on the paper. What does has with, with this one here? On page 27 of Daily Trust, that says, Insecurity, others cut Nigeria's foreign investment to $875 million, lowest in five years. Page 27, Daily Trust. Insecurity, others cut Nigeria's foreign investments to Eight hundred and seventy-five million dollars, lowest in five years. And on page forty-four, kidnappers abduct chief imam, two sons in Abuja. Um, I'm going to flip through to page twenty-nine. Um, how informants, other collaborators, fuel banditry. How informants, other collaborators, fuel banditry. Um, page twenty-nine of the Daily Trust newspaper. Good morning to you. We lost that call. Nigeria Info, good morning to you. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. Yeah, this is for Sherry from Michelle. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. One thing when I know for for this country, it's a shame for me for this for this government. If you have that one dance, anytime they put music on, you continue that dance, you have to change your dance. When Ebuari was our Mr. President was the head of state, 1983 to 85, mm. all this story we hear them. He called back the same time. He still doing the same thing. Why? Mm. He have children. He will have great grandchildren. What they will say about his children? He do the overthrow. He carry our governor that time for prison. He released all your brothers. Thank you very much. Thank you, too, for calling me. Appreciate your time. Uh, 7.44, let's go to the Nation newspaper. We have some stories here that we want to take from the Nation. 2023, PDP governors in deft move against Atiku Saraki. 2023, PDP governors in deft move uh, against um, Atiku Saraki. That's uh, here. Uh, on um, page um, five, page six of the Nation newspaper. Uh, this one, why I visited President by Tinubu, page six of the Nation. Buhari in Glasgow for climate change conference, page five, the Nation newspaper. Good morning to you. Nigeria, Info, good morning to you. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you. We can Hello, hear you. Morning. We can hear you. Good morning. Mr. Jabri, Comrade Dr. Nagu Mohamed Ibrahim calling. Welcome, welcome. What's your story? God bless you, sir. You too. Uh, my story is on, still on this, uh, Mrs. So Dele. Okay. Uh, it's condemnable, and all of us should condemn it. Mm. Mr. Sharif, hmm? I am always uh, worried about we, the commoners, because when it happens to the elite this way, all of us will start raising our emotions on it. Go to our various police stations. Look at the way police are molesting our youth across the country. The case will go to court at the same court, which Mrs. Swadili is part of, who will not do anything about it. And the common people who does nothing are, are rotting in jail. But when it concerns them, people will start raising eyebrows. 
I said earlier, I said it's condemnable. But as we are condemning it, we should also look back to the common people, what is happening to the common people. Okay. Finally, sir, mm. uh, yes, or which it cannot give any threat to anybody. It's only talking the way some of us are, are, are talking. Okay. There is no threat there. Okay. And nobody should say, yes, or which has spoken. Something will happen. Nothing. Good morning. Good morning to you, too, Comrade Brian. Nigeria, Ifo, good morning to you. Hello. Good morning. Hello. We can hear you. Hello? We can hear you. Hello, good morning. You ca can you hear me? Uh, hello, good morning. Oh, you can't hear me. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to let that go. Let's go take our last paper on the program this morning. And that's a punch. The punch has um, a couple of stories that we can take a look at. Page five of the punch. Man arrested for defiling 10-year-old left behind by mother in Ondo. Man arrested for defiling 10-year-old left behind by mother in Ondo. Mm, that story is on page five of the punch newspaper. Page two of the punch. PDP governors move against Mark or in a lot to reduce military influence. Uh, that's on page two. PDP governors move against Mark or in a lot to reduce military influence. Uh, let's take one more. One more. And this is about the coming elections this weekend in Anambra State. Um, the punch has the following story. 76,000. 104 voters in five LGs may not vote, says Yaga. Use Anambra equity polls to boost your image, Bishop tells Einek. Uh, those two stories on page 22 of the Punch newspaper. Good morning to you. Good morning. You can't hear me. Nigeria Info, good morning to you. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you. Like welcome, welcome. What's your story? I need your I need your radio off. You should know this. Okay. The read on the uh, as justice Mario Hodeli Ho. I wonder why some people choose to be always one sided in their submission. We were in this country when the treatment that was meted out on the uh, justice Ayo Salami. Okay. What is offense against PDP? Because he restored the stolen mandate by PDP to the rightful owner. They accused mm. uh, him of romancing with the uh, ACN and Tunubu. Mm. Mm. So they recommended he sack the NJC. And they did that. Later, the NJC made a U turn and recommended his reinstatement. Mm. And Jonathan refused. Am I lying? Because some of them, they always say, I'm lying on this platform. He was forced out of, uh, out of the judiciary. Then, before this time, Justice Onoge, please, one that I will beg you in the name of God, can you invite you were in River State, Barrister Livingstone Muche, on the AIT platform? He said Nigeria should wash out the, the unholy relationship with Muche I want, I want and to, the GN. I want to talk to you some more, my friend, but your, your time is up. I'm, I'm really sorry. We need to move on. Good morning to you. Hello? Are you here? You are not here. Let me talk to another person. Nigeria Info, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Richard. I'm calling from First Talk. What's your story, Richard? What's your story? Hello. We can hear you, Richard. Hello. Oh, Richard can't hear me. Richard, do try and call me back, okay? Nigeria Info, good morning to you. Good morning, Sheriff. Yes, please, good morning to you. Um, first of all, I, I would have... Had, I, um, Wish that you apologize to us, the fans of um, Nigeria Info, yeah. for the shameful loss of us today. It's not shameful. You people should understand. It's we, shameful. It's we, shameful. We, our the, our the resignation goal, as I've, the team coach. I've resigned since right this uh, Better, yeah. better for you. Yeah, I've resigned since right. Um, Buhari traveling to Glasgow after just two days. He returned from Saudi Arabia. Man, this man just they travel with this country. Eh? Must he attend to every invitation given to him? Looking at the whole challenges that we have in this country, can't he send a representative? Even if he needs to say, what do you want to talk? Uh, Sheriff, mm -hmm. you know the answer? Why go answer him? I don't be a presidential ah. spokesman now. Femi Adesion or Dedia, Ajuri Dedia, Garbashe or Dedia. Why are you going to ask me? other countries, when you invite their leaders and they have some serious issues, they send, they send, they send a delegate or someone to present them. And over the justice um, raid in, um, in Rivers, waiting, uh, would they wait for Laila Mohammed response to that? 
because single gets you to talk. Uh, nobody, go, nobody government. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you to my friend for calling. Appreciate it. Let's um, take some thought from um, WhatsApp this morning. We've got um, some comments that have come in on WhatsApp. So here we go uh, with what we have here on WhatsApp. This person says, um, I was talking about um, police and LASMA. We'll come to that. We'll come to that. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's see who else we've got here. Um, Chris is saying that... Um, it's talking about the invasion, but Chris, your your message is almost like starting from the middle. Mm. Starting from the middle, uh, this person says it's talking about Ambassador Musibao. So we're gonna we're gonna skip it. You have to leave my callers out. Just go straight to your own point and make it. Peter Chuk says, Mr. President, he's using DSS and army to bring problem in Nigeria. Let him not. Let him know. Let mm. you know. I didn't know that um, nothing lasts forever. One day, he will... Um, okay. Peter, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I really do. Uh, let's take another one from um, WhatsApp. It's a long one. Udo, Chief, Udo, Chief Udo says, um, I think the attack uh, in Mario Dili's house, who is second most senior justice, is not far from 2023 Tosso. And I think they want to give her justice on an achievement. So sad that... A Sharia law expert in the name of Tanko, who has affidavit a certificate, is the chief justice of this country. Uh, that's Chief Udo who sent that in on WhatsApp. I think I can squeeze in a few more from WhatsApp. Maybe two. Eh? Maybe two. Let's take this one here. Um, Jay from Isolo says, Sherry, please, what is Buhari going to Glasgow to say? Probably NSAS, Empire, Trader, Money, Labour, Money... Well, the president is going to go talk about um, climate change. He's going to go talk about the scarcity of gas. Um, he's going to talk about why the world shouldn't punish Africa uh, with um, scarcity of energy. Because Africa will literally just go back to the forest and start cutting down the bushes and all. Yeah, he's going to talk about a lot of things. And that's all I know. And what I know is on the news. Hmm? So you can go find out some more about what he's going to talk about. Hmm. Let me take one more from WhatsApp before we get back to um <laughs> I have resigned now. Why are people so I said I have resigned. I've resigned. I'm not no more a coach. I'm no more a coach. I've resigned. Uh, you know, me I'm not like I'm not like Olegona Soshai or Ateta. No. I'll do the honorable thing. After all, people are not paying me. Hmm? Let me take another call. Nigeria, Info. good morning to you. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I want to talk about the uh, weekend uh, election in Alhambra. My name is Tony. I'm calling from Ikeja. Welcome, Tony. Yes. You see, uh, Mr. Sheriff, uh, as a journalist, just can no notice that uh, in the Southeast, mm. every mon Monday, mm. People chose to stay indoors, mainly maybe for their own safety. Mm. But with the influx of security operatives in Anambra State mm. and uh, with uh, the threats by unknown gunmen, don't you think that that on the 6th of this month will look like every other Mondays? That is what I think. Thank you. Okay. You th you think that people will choose to stay indoors as well, just for their own safety, thereby causing some serious voter apathy uh, this Saturday. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, let's take another call. Nigeria Info. Good morning to you. Hello. Good Sheriff. morning. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Grandma. Uh, oh, Grandma, you didn't ask of me. Imagine. <laughs> you know, how are I'm you? Going. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. How are you, ma? Okay. You know, people say, it being for me. I'm not saying kiri. Can you finish the proverb for me? No, uh, no, 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 ma. I cannot. You never feel, you never wash your belly. You they wash outside. Mm. Mm. So, if it is, they make it tell them, say, before now, bash a stove we are using now is Buhari stove. Wo. We are we are packing the sundos free that time, but mm -hmm. now you cannot see free sundos. You have to drop something for the people that will give you sundos. Oh. 
So let's come and uh, tell them, say, now. Hello? What? Well, we lost Grandma's call eventually. Uh, thank you, Grandma, for calling. Nigeria, for the morning to you. Hello, Sharif. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sharif. Yes, ma'am. I, I like yes, to sir. understand that um, when the president is moving, yeah. you know, the, all this movement of the president, mm. I, it costs a lot. Of course. For the president to move. Of it costs a lot. And this is the same country that borrows money to the build infrastructure to be railway. Most Buhari attend to... Last month, if, I, if, I, if, I, if my memory serves me right, he was in UX for a program. Last week, he spent seven days at, um, at uh, seven days or thereabout at uh, Saudi Arabia. Today, he's going to uh, um, Glasgow again. Probably next week again, he'll be. And these are money. When the presidential jet leaves, I, I'm sure you know how much he, uh, he spends on the parking lot. And yet, this is the same country that borrows money for infrastructure. Eh? What, 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 what is this government? What is this government all about? Eh, Sheriff? I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm listening some, to something you. Something needs to be done. Mm. Something needs to. Be, nobody's saying anything. And later now, the, the, the presidential spokesperson will come out and start speaking rubbish. Like, like Muhammad will come and tell us lies again. This is a country that is borrowing to, to, to even pay salaries, and yet the, the president is moving around with all his itineraries and them call, uh, envoys to countries. Thank you, thank you for calling me. Appreciate it. The name of the minister is Lai Mohammed, not like Lai Mohammed. And the spokespeople don't speak rubbish. Hmm? They, they communicate to you. Uh, it's for you to now take what they're saying or you don't take what they're saying. Huh? That's very clear with all of those. Hmm? We must go now, Lagos. Thank you all for being a part of um, Dailies Today, the concluding part. But we are back tomorrow on your radio at 6.15 for dailies today we'll take a break at seven to bring you sports drive at 7 30 we'll be back in here with jimmy disu for the concluding part of dailies today i am sheriff quadri after the news don't go anywhere don't don't go anywhere after the news which will last for about three four minutes i will be joined by dr monday ubani and we'll be talking about the legality of the invasion of milord Justice of the Supreme Court, Mary Odili, on Friday. That's our conversation at 8 o'clock. So do stay here. We'll break things down for you. I'm Sharif Quadri. Good morning to you. Talk never stop. When I collect my salary, my husband will lock me in the house and make sure I submit to the home money. My wife woke me in the night one certain time and he asked me a question that I should swear whether if I don't cheat on her. Mm. <laughs> and leave the sleep just collect. <laughs> Spending what little revenue we have to look for oil is a waste of money that could have been used to diversify our economy so that the government has other revenue streams. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. This is The Voice Note on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. You know, it echoed in 